side, comforting him, uh, giving him good advice, um, telling him that he was uh, he was a truthful man, telling him that you know God would not uh, forsake him, would not leave him alone, and that you know eventually he would he would be the one who would be successful uh, in what he is doing, even though right now hardships are a plenty. Uh, so you know you can see what kind of a role she played in the prophet's uh, life, and there are incidents. For example, one time uh, later on, when Khadija had already passed away, and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had married other women, one of his wives, younger wives, uh, she became jealous of of Khadija, who was not even alive at that point, and she said, uh, "How come you keep remembering that older woman? She was an older woman, and now you have younger wives uh, who are more beautiful than her." Um, but you you tend to st uh, seem to be you know um, still remembering her and you know your love love for her has not gone away. So Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he um, he told his his wife at that point that you know Khadija was a special person in in his life and that she had believed in him when nobody had believed in him and she supported him when everyone was against him. So that left impressions of extreme love in the heart of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for Khadija. And Khadija um, is also a very special woman um, because she is one of the few women whom, um, whom God or Allah sent her uh, his peace on. So one time Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was receiving a revelation. Uh, Gabriel was giving him, Angel Gabriel was giving him a revelation. And before leaving, Gabriel said that Khadija is on her way to you, meaning she's coming to you with food. Um, and when she comes to you, tell her that Allah or God and Gabriel say their salam for her, meaning they're sending their peace for her, their greetings for her. And so this was an extremely honorable moment for Khadija, where Allah himself and angel Gabriel, they send their greetings of peace for Khadija, which, you know, we do not find uh, any other women or any other person, you know, having this kind of an honor. So Khadija was an extremely honorable woman in, in the religion. And inshallah, when we talk about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his early struggles in Mecca, then you, will, uh, then you will realize what kind of a role she played in his life. So as we said, uh, they had four daughters together, and uh, these were basically the children Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had. Uh, all his children came um, from Khadija, his first wife. Uh, there are reports that one of his sons was born to a later woman, to, a, to one of his later wives, but he also died in infancy. So the only surviving children Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had uh, were from Khadija, which were his four daughters, uh, which are namely Ruqayya, uh, one of his daughters. Um, another one is uh, Um Kulthum, Um Kulthum. Uh, another one is Zainab, uh, and last one is Fatima. So Ruqayya, Um Kulthum, Zainab, and Fatima. These were the four daughters of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, whom he loved um, greatly, uh, and especially Fatima, which we will talk about uh, later on, who was the last surviving, um, or who was the first one to join him, actually, after his death. She was the first one to die after him. Uh, in, in his family members uh, who were living at that time. So um, so once again, uh, in this episode, the uh, marriage of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with Khadija and how it happened, um, the significant points are that, once again, uh, it was his character which got him uh, the attention of this, this beautiful, older, uh, widowed woman, Khadija. Um, and she had an, a wonderful uh, experience, wonderful time um, being the wife of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. She loved him and she cherished um, you know, this relationship. And she supported him emotionally as well as through her wealth. And she uh, gave birth to four of his daughters who survived later on and to play significant roles in, uh, in the early Islamic movement. And she struggled with him. Um, and there was extreme love and respect, mutual respect, uh, between Khadija and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And being the older uh, person in the relationship, she uh, took care of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, through um, giving him advice because she was mature. She had seen the, the ups and downs of life. She understood how business worked in Arabia, how life was in Arabia. So her experience was of great help for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, while he himself is maturing and you know he's getting into his 30s 
and uh, and his 40s uh, she is gr getting older uh, and she is there by his side so uh, in this episode we learned about Khadija and the relationship of Muhammad peace be upon him I hope that uh, some of the misconceptions related to the marriages of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him um, are now um, are now going away in your minds um, we have to understand the context and the culture uh, in which we are um, are talking about we're talking about a culture and a time where such relationships were common and as long as both the man and the woman were mature enough to get into a relationship which in Islam is puberty the age of puberty then uh, you know such marriages uh, were acceptable and are acceptable in Islam even today uh, with that we will end here in the next episode we will jump into the most interesting part of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him's life and that is uh, how he becomes a prophet uh, I hope once again that uh, you are benefiting from these lectures enjoying these lectures um, and uh, anything good that you are learning from these lectures is because Allah wants to guide you to the truth and in anything which is a mistake anything which is a shortcoming in uh, the way I am speaking uh, or the words I'm using to express the feelings uh, is because of the human limitation which I have so I hope that Allah will forgive me for those errors and mistakes and I hope you will forgive me for that with that we'll end until uh, the next episode keep watching Islam Unplugged